Hello friends, the teacher here and today we will be learning about line and paragraph spacing using Word 2016. My name is Rajiv and this lesson is going to be a little long, so stay tuned. Before we go and start talking about line and paragraph spacing, let me explain you that how Microsoft Word differentiates between a line and a paragraph. It is important for you to know the difference between a line and a paragraph, else you may not understand that how Word is distributing spacing between lines or paragraphs, and that is what our video is about. One more thing, the default measurement type while using line and paragraph spacing is point system. And if you want to understand how font sizes work in a computer system, then you can watch our short video on the same topic and the link is given in the cards. As you can see in this covering letter document, if you do count, then it seems that there are a total of 4 paragraphs and all others are single lines. But it is not the same as it looks on the screen. If I do a spelling and grammar check from the review tab, then you can see in the readability statistics that Word is counting them as a total of 15 paragraphs. Isn't it look strange? There is nothing strange about it. But you only need to understand the algorithm behind it. We have also discussed the same in our paragraph formatting and alignment lesson. And you can also watch our video about how to enable readability statistics in Word documents. Anyway, if you turn on show hide button from the home tab under paragraph section, then you will start seeing all the paragraph marks used in this document, like the enter key, space between words, and the tab keys. Do note that these paragraph marks don't get printed by default, so you don't need to worry if you forget to turn off show hide before giving the print command. Ok, now if you count the paragraph marks which appear when you hit the enter key in the end of the line, then they are 15 in total. And word does not count the last one because there is nothing after that. And this is how Microsoft Word assume and calculate paragraphs in a document. Each enter pressed in Word document is end of that paragraph and the beginning of a new one. If we look at the second paragraph of this document, then it looks like a single paragraph. But there are four in actual. Let's see a quick example that how it will affect on line or paragraph spacing commands. As you can see that all these paragraphs are very closely tied together and I want to add a bit spacing between these paragraphs. So. To adjust the paragraph spacing, I first select all of them and then I go to the paragraph section of home tab and then click on double arrow button referring as line and paragraph spacing. Below we have two options add space before and add space after paragraphs. When I hover my mouse over them, you can see an instant preview in the background. For now I choose add space before paragraph and you can notice that an equal space has been added after each paragraph except for the second one. This is because as we have discussed earlier that word is assuming them as four different paragraphs. So this is why paragraph spacing has been added after each line of the second paragraph. Whereas in other three paragraphs the spacing has been added only at the end of each paragraph. So the conclusion of all this discussion is that you should only break a line or paragraph when you actually need to start a new one. I mean, I have seen most of users hitting enter key in the end of each line, even when they were writing a complete paragraph. So my advice is to use enter key once in the end of each paragraph and you don't need to bother as word will automatically take you to the next line when you will cover the entire page space, particularly width while writing a paragraph. Hitting enters not only affect in paragraph spacing, but it can also result in other malfunctions in your document, like you cannot justify this paragraph, as they are broken lines, or you cannot even increase their font sizes, because if you will do so, then see what will happen. I hope you got my point that what I am trying to explain here. To remove those extra enters, just move your cursor before the sign, if the show height is turned on. Or you can say that move the cursor to the end of the line 
and then hit delete key from keyboard and repeat this for each line in this paragraph. Enter is not always bad for the paragraphs. Like you might sometimes want to divide a single paragraph into two. Then move your cursor to the specific location and then hit the enter key. And there you have a new paragraph. Don't want it? Then just remove it by hitting backspace or delete key depending on your cursor position. This is for your information only that you don't even need to hit an extra enter between two paragraphs to add an extra space between them like most of the users does. Just select all of them and use add space before or after command. One more interesting thing to note here is if paragraph space has already been added then you will see remove space instead of add space. Now the paragraphs and spacing between them seems right but still a lot of space is blank at the bottom of the page. What I need to do now is to add a bit spacing between the lines. Line spacing referred to as spacing that you want to have between each line. I need to apply spacing between all the lines so I select the entire document and if I click on line and paragraph spacing you can see that the default spacing for this document is set to 1. Depends on requirements that how much space you want to add between each line. You can choose one from these predefined options like one and a half, two, or three, whatever suits you. And when you hover mouse over them, you can see an instant preview in the background. For this document, if I go with two, then you can notice that a few lines are getting over to the second page, which I don't want. So maybe one and a half will be okay for me and that seems nice and now the covering letter is covering almost the entire page. If you want to explore a little more into line and paragraph spacing then you can click the line spacing option from the same drop down button. Here we will just talk about the spacing options as the other options like indention or outline level will be discussed in our next lessons. Let's first talk about the paragraph spacing. Here you have before and after measurements where you can specify the spacing before and after a paragraph. For instance, if you set an equal 6 point paragraph spacing before and after boxes and apply these settings, then you can notice a 6 point spacing between first and second paragraph or you can say that 6 point spacing before first paragraph and 6 point spacing after first paragraph. And 6 point spacing before and after second paragraph and this continues to apply for further paragraphs. Then you have the option don't add line spacing between paragraphs of same style. This feature useful if you only want to add spacing for some special paragraphs like quotes between the paragraphs and don't want to add spacing for other paragraphs. Then word will automatically identify the different style paragraphs and will add spacing between them only. Microsoft Word applies this setting to certain built-in style but do remember this doesn't apply to all of them so you need to take care about this. Then we have the line spacing options single, one and half lines and double. All are the same option as they are available in line and paragraph spacing drop down menu to lose or tighten the spacing between lines. But when you choose at least from the drop down menu, you will see a 12 point value in the box alongside. When at least and exactly line spacing style is used, then measurement system changes to point system just like the font size. When at least line spacing is used, it sets the minimum line spacing that is needed to fit the largest font or graphic on the line. Exactly line spacing option can be used if you are using a 12 sides font then you might exactly want a spacing of 15 point between lines. Multiple. This option says line spacing that can be expressed in numbers greater than 1. For example setting line spacing to 1.15 will increase the space by 15%. And setting multiple line spacing to 3 increases the space by 300% that is triple spacing between lines. So this was all about 
setting line and paragraph spacing and uh, instead of uh, doing the same task manually you can do this in seconds using the line and paragraph settings i hope you may have learned something new and interesting from this lesson tell us by leaving your suggestions and comments in the box below press the thumbs up button if you really like this video and keep sharing this video with your friends thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch some of more the teachers upcoming lessons bye for now and wish you a great new year